Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Iris and I'm just a little crafty. So, happy new year. I hope you had an awesome new year and I hope the rest of the year is just as amazing and beautiful and creative and amazing and I already said amazing and everything. Tom's amazing and everything for you and your family and I hope you have an awesome life. I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you why I decided to make a cute little piggy bank. So I started a new job and in this new job they sometimes, not always, but sometimes give me tips. I don't know if they're supposed to but they do and I decided that if I make a little piggy bank I could just save all my tips for the entire year and maybe open it up at the end of this year to see how much I've accumulated. Also, I may have already spent some of that money that they have given me, so I really needed this piggy bank. Okay, let me show you how to make it. Okay, so let's get started. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is some materials, of course. So you first you're gonna need the substance, the glue substance to hold the whole thing together. Now, I'm gonna show you a recipe on how to do it. I didn't want to pay all this money to buy the glue substance to be able to do this project because I knew that I knew how to make a mixture for myself. Now to do this mixture you're going to need a container and one cup of flour and one cup of water. You may need to add more water, just a little bit more in case you need it because I want you to make a really watery consistency. You're going to mix it really well and you're going to make a watery consistency almost like wet pancakes. And this is the part that you're going to use. Remember to add a little pinch of salt. Uh, my mom used to say it was for good luck but I'm not really sure what it's for. I just added it. What you're going to need is a balloon and some paper. What I found out, this kind of paper that they send you in the mail works great for it because it's nice and thin and you can use it for this project. So these newspaper clippings, just cut them up into strips and you can use those strips to cover up your balloon. The second thing that you're gonna need is a an empty cardboard box. Now let me show you where I got my little legs from. So these are my little egg cartons. Now right here where the egg goes is this is the part that I use the mouth. Right here in between the eggs, this is the part where I use for the legs and for the and for the ears. This right here. Also, these flaps right here where it's really thin, this is what I use for the tail because this part right here is like really flimsy so I can like bend it and shape it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to blow up your balloon. You're going to put on some gloves or you can just go with it. If you don't want to wear gloves, you don't have to. It's just flour. You can just wash it off. It's not going to get stuck on your fingers or nothing. So you're going to dunk your paper into the glue mixture and then you're going to remove the excess. You don't want it to be too thick. Make sure not to add too much mixture because if it's too thick, it might not glue on as properly. It's not going to dry, it's not going to harden as properly if it's too thick of a layer. Just a, just a light layer and smooth it out as you go. So the more that you add, the more paper that you add to one side, the more it's going to want to lean over to that side. Just let it lean and just work around with it, okay? It's fine if it kind of leans that way because it's that's the heaviest part. Just go with it and just keep wrapping the whole balloon in these strips of paper.
make sure every single part of your balloon is covered with these strips of paper. It's going to be a long, tedious project, but it's fun. Make sure that you cover every single inch of that balloon because you don't want it to have holes. Also, don't go too thick with the paper. You just want about one, uh, two or three layers, no more than that, because otherwise your paper is just going to be too thick and it's just not going to work. Okay, so now that we have our face and it's nice and hard, and you didn't leave it for three days by accident now we can get into it and the balloon should just like peel off although I think there's still some air so we're gonna pop it so we can bring it out take it out there. okay so now we have our globe and ready to make into a little piggy bank so next step is we gotta figure out which one's gonna be the top and which one's gonna be the bottom because it just wobbles that way. Okay, next. Okay, so now that we have cut up four little leggies, two little ears, and one little mouth, now we're ready to glue them on to our little base to form our little picky shape. I'm going to be using this super glue all fix it adhesive because I feel like from all my glues that's the best one. But I'm also going to try to glue some of the parts with this one to see which one holds up better. Okay, I want to give you a better shot of this. This is my little piggy right here and this is going to be my top. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom so we can know where to put our little spots right here. Right here. Okay, from here we're going to adjust to see where we're going to put our little feet. And to mark it. Okay, see then we have our markings so now we know where to glue. So I started this using the super glue adhesive because in my opinion I thought it was going to be better than the super glue. Unfortunately I had it to tape it in order for it to stay but then it still didn't dry when it was supposed to have dried and then I just removed it and then used the school glue. Put plenty of glue around the edges to reinforce it because you don't want it to break. My legs look a little crooked, but let's see if it will stand up. Ah! <laughs> it stands up. <laughs> the legs are a little crooked, but it looks good. It stands up. Okay, okay now we're going to add the little ears right here. So it can look like a cute little piggy. Of course, it's school glue because I found out the other glue does not work. Are my ears a little too big? How, how big are pig ears? A little too big. Okay, so look at that. Looks like a real piggy now. So now all we have to do is add the little nose. With the little mouth. Look at that. And that's going to be so cute. And I accidentally ripped it a little bit right here. So that's going to be my opening. I'm just going to extend that. And although it's still needing a little pigtail. I don't know if we can do that. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this last part right here. And we're going to let the glue wait and set. At least until it dries. So because before you paint it, you want it to make sure it's dry. Okay? Now that you see how cute and adorable this cute little piggy's looking. It even has a cute little tail. Now we're ready to paint it. So get your paint brushes and your paints ready to paint your little piggy bank. Okay, let's start. So first we're gonna start with priming this little guy with white paint. I don't really have 
half primer, so this we're gonna use like eight. Oh, actually, first I'm gonna cut the little slip. Just a cute little slip. Just a cute little line. <coughs> okay, so I don't know if I told you this, but I'm mainly doing this. I'm mainly doing this piggy bank because we started a new job, and sometimes I get tips. And I want to be able to save those tips because I've already gotten tips and I've already wasted them. I don't always get tips. I'm not supposed to, I don't know if I'm supposed to get tips. If people like to leave me tips, it is really kind of them. And there it is so we're just gonna wait for it to dry and then we're gonna move it to the paint station so we can finish painting it and giving it its cute little colors and I'll meet you right back when it's all nice and painted So for the decoration, um, I think the little piggy bank decided that it was a girl and I just started dressing it up like a girl, <laughs> giving it a little frilly skirt. So for the design itself, I just added it in flowers. I added flowers and then I added leaves and a little bit of vines here and there, some different shapes that I can come up with. I mainly stayed in the color scheme of red, yellow, and orange. So I made the whole thing red, yellow, and orange.
Okay, so you ready for the results? I'm ready to show you my little piggy band, how it came out. Okay, here it is, my little piggy bag. Isn't it so cute and precious? Like I said, these are the ears, and I cut them in halves, and I put one in one. So this is one, and I just cut it in half. And the same kind you can use see over here, that, have, that these have, They're just a little shorter. Also, look at that, she has little tights, and little, and little booties. And isn't she so adorable? I don't know her name yet. She hasn't told me her name yet, but she's a cute little adorable little piggy. I love her so much. And I'm really, I mean, my channel name is Just a Little Crafty. So I'm just a little crafty and I'm not really that artistic. But I think I did my best here. 